<laughs> hey everybody and welcome back to What They Won't Say. This is Courtney Lynette. Just Kevin. Unconscious Atmosphere. You in. And today, if you notice, we have a fourth person with us for people viewing, for people just listening. This is TJ. Yes. Creator of... Creative Genius. That is spelled with a K. Creative Genius. J-E-A-N-U-S. Creative Genius. Oh, he spelt that. Y'all heard that shit. <laughs> right, right. rewind it. Because it was complicated for me and I followed the page. Y'all better cop so, <laughs> Let's get that shit right. So, we're going to start it off. As you guys know, we stated that we were going to start doing some interviews for small business owners that are, are in the local area. So, if you want to follow, buy, support, we have all of those avenues for you. So, TJ, tell us a little bit about what Creative Genius is. Um, to sum it up, Creative Genius is about giving you the dope graphics on affordable fabrics. You dig? I'm about giving you quality work, but also give you something with a statement. You know, something you're not going to see every day. Something you might not get out your local boutique, you dig, or your local mall. You know what I'm saying? Just bringing that Brooklyn flavor to North Carolina. Alright, so tell hey. us how you came up with the concept and the name Creative Genius. Uh, concept came... Dealing with this fool, um, unconscious atmosphere, aka my brother. Um, you know, just out there chilling in Florida. You know, he was doing his thing, and you know, he just went ahead and just told me like, "Yo, that shit is creative, bro." And I was like, "Yo, this shit is genius." <laughs> <laughs> that's really how it happened. That's, that's, that's how this shit works. We just on the couch, and that's how this shit pops. So yeah. That's what's up. For those of you just listening, TJ and Malik are brothers, so this is not one of the. Oh my bros, but they're really no, just my best friends. They're blood <laughs> brothers. <laughs> we came from the facts. same place. Big facts. As my sister would say, they popped out the same coach. Um, <laughs> hey, all that. <laughs> but yeah, as we uh, <laughs> transition from that that side back to TJ here. Um, how long you uh you been in the in the creative genius game? Oh. How long has it been established? Okay, yeah, it's been around about four years now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Moving on our fifth year coming May, uh, next May. So, yeah, yeah, man, it's been a journey. You know what I'm saying? It's been ups and downs, highs and lows, just like everything else. But, um, you know, I'm always a, trying to be a student to it, so, you know, so that way I can stay the course. So, for people who don't know, do you sell kids' clothes? Do you sell men's, more so women? What? Who's your target? market area? Uh, target market be, you know, our, not millennials, but yeah, some of them millennials, but most of them are about between 25, 35, um, you know, that, that area. But it's, it's men's, women's, it's unisex, it's, you know, I'm working on kids, but, you know, that's a tender market to work under. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely working with, with all, all faces and places in life. So you can't say millennials, because our dad, when that's up all the time, like, you don't yeah. need him walk around two seconds without some creative genius on it. Daddy Morris could be a millennial if he want to be a millennial. Let that man yeah. live. Most millennials don't want to be millennials. That man was born two oh. years after World War II. I'm not doing this. So, <laughs> that, 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 that. Shout out to my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much love, much love. Love you, Pop. So, <laughs> tell us how people can find you and order from Creative Genius. Okay. Um, right now, you know, we're just pushing our small, you know, interface. So, we got the website, um, creativegenius.bigcartel.com. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Tumblr, Pinterest. What else? What else? What else? Yeah, else out there? yeah, I got a Pinterest. I got a Tumblr. Everybody I'm out there. I, I love social media. Like it's I do this. Genius. It's all creative genius. K R K R E A T I V E J E A N U S. And this nigga said I was gonna do this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I said no, I'm not. I'm gonna put my hands in front of me. It's hard not to. Every episode, yeah, like, it especially it when we're trying to make a point, so you gonna fit right in. That's it. Really. <laughs> that's the that's the social role, yeah. That's so it. I'm glad you came through to do this interview. It's a, it's gonna be an exciting episode. Nothing too heavy. We're not talking about the news today. What we're talking about today is relationships and oh. titles that come with that. So I'm glad you're gonna hang out with us for a little bit yeah. to talk about it. Shout out to Haley. Let me, yeah. Shout out to Haley and Food Lion. I stopped her randomly and asked her about dog. relationships. 
And it was really <laughs> funny because she ain't know. She was like, I was like, do you, are you in a relationship? She was like, I got somebody I fuck with. So shout out to you, Haley, because that definitely uh, put us in the mindset of titles and relationships. So with that being said, we're going to transition into episode three. And uh, episode three's topic of titles and relationships and what exactly that means. Or How- lack thereof. Or like that, apparently Miss Lynette has some feelings (laughs) and how they uh, set the course of the journey. So, Miss Lynette, titles. We don't want to. We don't want to keep keep it so broad. Let's say uh, titles from the female side when establishing that the relationship is happening. Why is it so important? I feel. Guys and, well, females and males face relationships two different ways. I feel like a man goes into talking to someone, like, if they're only talking to one person, then they're like, okay, I'm only going to deal with this one person, see what she about, and see if we vibe. Nowadays, speaking from the girl's perspective, I feel like girls are more so dating around. They're like, well most likely he's not just dealing with me so i'm not gonna deal with just him so i feel like they approach it two different ways i feel like guys wait for a girl to show her true colors and girls are out there dating seeing what's what's out there seeing who vibes the most with them before they put a title on it all right i don't want to completely go off course from what you said so i'm gonna get back to it but there's too many women that believe there's too many men that got the sauce. Like, and I say that in that, um, the idea that women, when it comes to dating and y'all, that first interaction, the immediate belief is that we automatically got three, four, five in the state. And, 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 and I'm just running around. I got you on the back burner, her on the back burner. Damn, my, 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 my inbox looks like damn an emoji movie. Like, like, and honestly, that can't be the case. Like, one, numbers say that can't be the case. Y'all outnumber us. And and the idea that if all of us are shit and y'all believe all of us are shit, how are all of us still doing numbers? Like Because we outnumber you. Yeah, but if every female believes is going into this in this generation, and it's, I'm not going to say every, but it's a big number of of these niggas ain't shit like like that's a, yeah. that is, there's a big number of them and and for all those that don't know there's three married men on this panel right now so it's not like we're not we're not talking like we ain't been through the fire but um uh, but it's like at some point how is it how is it possible that if you go into it in this generation, believe me, that most of us are already, we already out here playing and and, 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 and running the game. How How is it possible that we still fool you? Okay. How, is, how is that happening? So I don't think multiple, a, multiple women are being fooled by the same. I don't think it's a thing of being fooled. I think a girl, I think females these days are just doing it so, so she can say that she's dealing with somebody. Hmm. I... For example, I recently moved from Georgia. It's 10 females to every one eligible bachelor. And I say eligible because we don't know who's down low. Look, look, we don't know right. who's with a, who deals with men with like it. Exactly. We don't know. We I saw don't some know. scary ass shit on Twitter the other day. And when I say scary, I mean, I don't even really want to talk about it because I don't like giving people fucking attention that don't deserve my attention. But I'm going to say that shit was scary and I'm probably never going to Atlanta a day in my life. Just saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> but using that as an example to answer your question, that's exactly how men these days get multiple women because it's 10 females to one eligible bachelor. And females are females feel like they can compete to get that man's sole attention. Like, oh, I'm going to be the one mm-hmm. to make him actor. Yeah. Can, yeah. can I say something? 
You can always say something. You're a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 they want to say I'm holding on to this because it's, it's, it's kind of funny. This is definitely going to be like a what they won't say moment. The problem yeah, is yeah, when it comes sense. to relationships and titles and what have you, we live in a ungrateful time, so to speak. A dopamine era. That's what I, what they, I that sounds good. So we live in a time where people... Everyone is afraid of being tied down because they feel like something is better out there. So nobody wants to put titles on anything because they are afraid that once they get with somebody and they say they're messing with this person, all the other males or females are going to be, are going to just disappear. Or not so much disappear, but all the good ones or the ones that could have been better or maybe the ones I could have been with are going to pop up. So nobody wants to put titles on anything because... We, we scared. No, it's not that you scared. I don't think that people are scared. You know what I'm saying? I think mm-hmm. people are just, they're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So people are just like, yeah, I don't want to have a title if I don't necessarily know if he's going to be serious or not. So back to what you're saying, like, yeah, men play both sides because they be like, oh, yeah, well, I, don't, I ain't got a whole bunch of shorties. I ain't got a whole bunch of shorties. You only think that because I have, you know, you see X amount of pictures of me with, with females, individuals. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Men, men, men play the play the game a little bit different than women when it comes to that title situation. Women, I feel like, more or less, like women are more or less like, um, you know, I'm not even gonna give you a name in my in, uh, in my phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as I name you, I give you a title. So if I if your name is always being, you know, um, that um, nigga, that nigga, like, <laughs> or KFC, or FedEx, or, or just nine one nine. You know what I'm saying? Dot dot dot. So as soon as I give you a title, as soon as I actually call you something. That's when, you know, that's that's when the, the situation turns into a, a bigger instance for you. I think we live in a, I also think we live in an era where everyone is afraid of rejection. I'm not going to put my heart and my emotions out there to somebody who may not feel the same way that I feel. But what's wrong with that is, like, y'all all have basically agreed that people run from titles in this generation and everything else. But I kind of feel the opposite. Because motherfuckers are, are, are out here in whole relationships. Situationships. S- situationships. Flirtationships. Uh, flirtationships. There are, there are uh, uh, hobo sapiens. And for those of that don't know what a hobo <laughs> sapien is. Hetero flexible. The, uh, uh-huh. this, this is the time right now. A hobo <laughs> sapien is going to find himself or herself a companion because it's cold outside. And... <laughs> They homeless and they need somewhere to stay. No. So they gonna find some quick love and hang on. But these are all still titles. No, they ain't boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, fiance. But but they are all still titles. No, they might not be titles that these cats carry individually, right. and, uh, 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 individually. But they are still titles that somebody gonna give to them. And they're regardless of whether you carry the title or not. If you live in that role, that title applies to you. Um, Yikes. So, <laughs> so, so, so if we if we out here, let's just say, I meet I meet Courtney on on a Tuesday, and and two Tuesdays from now we still in this situationship, and now we we talking every day, we texting every day, and now in her mind she like this might be going a little serious, but in my mind I'm like. We, we, just we just talking. It's been two weeks. We we doing what this do, but she knows that I felt like this from jump, right? Mm. Two weeks later, at the beginning, she also felt like this, but two weeks later, her emotions change. Her idea of what these titles should be has now changed, but she gonna still live in the situation ship. She now wants the situation ship to turn into a relationship, but you ain't gonna say nothing because. Of competition, loneliness, or what are we talking about? So, I don't feel like I'm the person that needs you to are have the person this conversation. Sitting here. I get it. I'm the only female here. So apply it. And I'm the only, <laughs> un- but my train of thought is different. Because mm-hmm. if I feel like our situation ship needs to elevate to a relationship, I'm going to speak on that shit. Okay. How I'm going to be like, yeah. but how? how? What do you mean? I'm going to say, hey, so mean, I mean? it's been two weeks. We talking consistently. I feel like it should move to the next level. You with it or not? What's the next level? Actually being exclusive. 
So that's like, all right, two like, weeks. That's like going from single. I'm to, not going to. to, 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 a to it's not like it's complicated. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like nah, we, it's we, complicated. We getting there. Believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, it's complicated. May, should I feel like it's complicated? Should be on the decline end of the relationship, not the beginning that's stages true. of the relationship. I believe because that. that's, that's heavy. At this at this point in time, if I feel like I wouldn't even give it two weeks. The moment I know for myself that I don't want to deal with anybody else and that my sole attention is on you, I'm having that conversation. It could be two days or two weeks from when we had our initial conversation. Okay, so the joys of being in this generation, that always happens. Somebody always gets to that point, and usually people do speak on it. Um, they might not speak on it in a healthy way, but they usually speak on it in some kind of way. But you get to that point, and you felt like, oh, man, I could possibly build something with this person. Okay. I'm going I'm, I'm to put that out there. They say, I ain't there yet. You say. That's all the rope I needed to give you for you to hang yourself. I'm so, going on at that point. And so because, after, because his timeline doesn't fit your timeline or her timeline doesn't fit his timeline, now this potential title like, like, do people want the, do they want the life of the title or do they just want the title? It's not about having the title. Well, at least not I for me. I think it's more. I can't say that I'm in it just to have a title. Mm -hmm. What I want to know is that your goals and aspirations meet my goals and aspirations. So if you are not on the same page that I'm at, I'm not going to stay over here waiting for you to catch up. I'm not a fast runner, so if you can't catch up to where I'm at now, then we don't. We need to go our separate ways because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be strung along. But when is a when is a good time to actually use a title? When you guys both agree, one person. Mm -hmm. I can't be in a relationship with you and you out here. But single. like I have said, if y'all not in the same <laughs> mindset, then what you gonna if do? Y'all not in the Please. same because every but everybody can't get to the same place at the same time. And I say this like I like I said, there are three married men on this panel. We all can mm -hmm. say the same thing. My my marriage has been a journey that I was ultimately not prepared for in life. It was something that I had to learn how to live in. It was something I had to learn how to I had to learn how to be a husband. Right. Um so so if we're going into it, it as if you don't catch up, you get left behind, you're already you're done. Because we don't evolve. We're even as men and women, whether it be marriage or or just basic dating. We're not going to evolve to the same spot at the same time. But I'm not saying be. I'm getting there. I'm not saying be strong along. I'm saying be a human and <laughs> and read a situation that says maybe it's like yeah I pull back I do but I see is this title going to come to is it actually going to come to fruition or am I just being hasty and saying fuck it. My timeline didn't come, didn't, didn't get met, so I'm done. So let me clarify. It depends on how the conversation goes. I could give you my side of the conversation, but if he's telling me, okay, well, this is something that I could potentially want, okay, cool. Let's continue to strive for where we're both at, but there's, I'm not ready for a relationship right now, or I'm not ready for a relationship because I'm still fucking everything moving. Ain't nobody ever going to say those words. So, <laughs> I'm just Maybe not in that sense, but it would be I'm not really looking for a relationship. Yeah. Or yeah, I'm not stop there. Right. But it wouldn't be like I'm not looking for a relationship, comma, you get a reason that justifies anything I'm doing. But I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like it could go either direction. It could be, hey, I'm not where I want to be in life to be somebody's man or somebody's girl. Well, so, a lot of times, wait, a lot of times too, the other thing about that is like not being with somebody. Like, I'll be, when I came back home in 2013 and I knew like my, my marriage is pretty much over and I hadn't been single since I was 18, I wasn't looking for shit. And I told anybody I came across when that started that I was not looking for a relationship. All these chicks knew I wasn't looking for a relationship. I dealt with one girl for three years was it three years? No, the point is a long time, and I was. I hope she's not watching this because he don't. She ain't movies. watching it. I ain't worried. About it. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't yes. watching it. The point is, is that like, somebody gonna tell her. But my point is, I dealt with her for three years, and we we talked about it. But at the same time, she would talk about like how this, that, and the third, and then she'd be like, well, "We not together." And I I respected that. I liked it, but 
Once I found my... That ain't hurt your feelings. Once I, no. <laughs> because that's not... I wasn't looking for nothing. But so... I'm tell you that. Oh, like, nigga, oh, I know you're not yeah. looking for nothing. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, shit, I ain't looking for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't looking for nothing. But this chick knew what it was. I hate to say it, but... Hey, I mean, hey, this nigga doing the most. I'm not gonna sit up here and shit like. That's my favorite emoji. <laughs> like she, yeah. That's at least top she three in my, my, my but people. Now, but then I got to the point where I found my wife, and we found each other on chance. Like not, it wasn't. We didn't even try. But then we got to the point. My inbox blew up. Oh, I thought you weren't looking for a relationship. Oh, I was thought you weren't looking for a relationship. Mm-hmm. No, I wasn't looking for a relationship with you. Ooh, but not that's even, what but that was. wasn't even it. It was more so Message. her effort was stronger than any chick that I've ever dealt with. Extremely direct, extremely blunt. Like, okay. so you won't be in, oh, okay. So you say effort gets you titles? Yes. That's not true. Yes. Megan the Stallion said, suck it and look in his eyes, and then the next day I might leave him on red. So that's not it. I'm, I'm going to go right this. Hold up, balls. Go ahead. Because, what, 8 billion people in this world, let's just say three of us, three billion of those are men. At least 1.5 billion of those men heard that line and went, yes, ma'am. Mm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but, that's but, fine. But, the, yeah, with right. that. Okay. <laughs> but um, then there's, there's that, there's them, because... If you look in my eyes, oh, you might <laughs> we got to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> if you I had me, we, I, I, I just so, so you not gonna be if she leave you on red, you gonna show up at the house. Pretty much, oh, we gonna have we gonna have a problem. See, so you because I felt you something can. and you can't tell me you didn't. So, so he was hurt when Shorty told him. He was like, so so like, that's why I said hold like, on when, when TJ asked that question. Oh, you see. sure that wouldn't hurt your feelings if right. somebody just like. Like, yeah, you go into it with the thought of, I don't want nothing, so they don't want nothing. But then when they tell you, after a long like, time, like, nah, nigga, you ain't shit to me. And I ain't want nothing. But, and you know, I don't want but you, you know what? Shit. That has happened to me in the same stint, which is really hurt. Because like, I was, I was, I was okay with a girl. Let me say it like that. I was okay with a girl. You was fucking with her? Yeah, well, in okay. the words of Haley, shout out Haley. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I was. Haley and then for food, dog. She, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't fuck with food. I, don't fuck with food. <laughs> I just caught that now. <laughs> All right, but at the same time, she told her friend like, "Yo," they was like, "Yo, who that?" Oh, that's nobody. When I found that out later on, she called you nobody. Nobody. We done seen each you other. You can't call me time. nobody. You can say that's just a friend. Oh, that's the and that's, that's a the homie. And that's a title in itself. You can call me just some dick, but you can't call mm-hmm. me nobody. So, <laughs> so, so in y'all that get sense, offended. y'all's male ego gets Yes, in that the sense. The male ego is a very precious it's thing. A, what? Are you and serious? That's what I'm saying. I'm stand up on that, but damn it. You don't talk about the male ego. God damn it. I'm talking about the male ego. No, I just did some more. But no, but like I'm saying, in that sense, yeah. My feelings was hurt, whereas the chick that I was dealing with, I was like, eh. The one that I kind of wanted to see myself with, I was more hurt when I, because I cared a little bit more for her than I did for the one that I was dealing with at the time. We didn't want a title. We respected the fact that we didn't have a title. What we did in private was a whole different story, but. So hey, y'all live title lives, but wouldn't get. But title. wouldn't have a title, right. Oh, y'all hustling back. What that's the hell y'all doing? That's stupid as fuck. Like, what's your Like, that's dumb as fuck. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What's your title right now? Oh, that's stupid. 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 You have a friend boy. What the fuck is a friend boy? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This is the type of stuff I'm talking Sips about. Tea. This this title thing reminds me of another. I should not say this. This title thing reminds me of another set of titles. I'm going to say it like that. That have that change every single year. Are you talking about the alphabet people? <laughs> I was. Is he talking about the alphabet people? I'm talking about the alphabet. That's my man Chappelle with Shane. 
It's my man Chappelle with Shade Out. But back. that's what I'm saying. We end up with new stuff. Like the other day, like man, I said, I fucks with y'all. Like, a couple y'all. months back, for the first time, I heard, <laughs> I heard heteroflexible. What? Excuse I heard me? heteroflexible. So Excuse they, me? They have Hold the ability up. to bend both ways? I guess. Mm-hmm. Like they're hetero oh, mainly. Exactly. Excuse but me? They're fle- exactly. Wait, they're what? hetero mainly, but flexible to Who me. said that? I'm not going to say that. So they're bisexual. I uh, guess. Yeah, I think so. I guess. I'm, I'm going to just, I'm I just guess. sum but it up. But my point is, like, that's what I'm saying. You talking about Friend relationships, boys. flirtation ships, situations. I feel like at some point, I some of our boy to our generation have become almost toxic. Like, like you hear somebody say, um... I'm dating. I don't even know if people understand what the fuck dating is. No. Dating is literally what it says. We going out, I'm going to take you somewhere, get to know you, but you don't, I don't belong to you, you don't belong to me. When I drop your ass off at home, this situation has ceased. <laughs> if we don't ever talk to each other again, I don't owe you shit, you don't owe me shit. If I see you on the street and you decide not to speak, then that's your that, that that's what you choose to do. But what is your right as an American? But what happens after the second and third date? Okay, second, third date, that's why being an, a human and learning the English language all those years allows you to communicate. And even if it's not Damn. the English language, it's the Spanish, French, whatever you may speak, Mandarin, I don't know. But at some that's point, that's you use these words and you say, hey, man, this is where I am in my life. This is where I'm feeling right now. I know I felt this way fucking 14 days ago, but right now, this is how I feel. How do you feel? Oh, that's not conducive to how I'm feeling right now. Maybe we need to have a separate set of conversations and, 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 and decide which route we're going. Some people just say, hey, man, you don't want to be my boyfriend or you don't want to be my girlfriend. Fuck you. You cut off. The cut off thing is like, how did you ever get to a, how do you get, you can add the title again, but how do you get to live in the behavior of said title if you don't give everything before it leading up to it and then the title, the respect it deserves? Hmm. Like at some point, you can't just say, you, you just said, I don't know how long you've been involved with this friend boy. And, and and personally, I'm a 30-year-old man, and calling me a boy in any context makes me feel less than what I am. But, <laughs> but that's a different conversation for a different day. But the idea of, I don't know how long y'all been in this, but I know that the idea of, I have a friend boy, that nigga ain't sitting there right now like, hey man, that's my friend girl. That's what I'm saying. Like, like <laughs> so, so, what's up? Would like, you, so let me ask a question. Would your friend boy be? Is he cool with me? Dude, you, when you introduce, like, like TJ just met my wife today. This is my wife, Kristen. If I, separate. it's not because if she, when she was my girlfriend, this was this is my girlfriend, Kristen. When we were engaged, this is my fiance, Kristen. When we were not dating, this is Kristen. Like, <laughs> like, like, at some point, you get introduced to. You get I, I present you to the world or how you are in my life. It's and that's and that's in every situationship title. That's how you wind up at these titles and feel comfortable uh, uh, approaching that person to ask them because you're like, man, that kind of showed me off in this life. Let's make this official. So what do you what do you introduce? Your what do you by his name. Okay, you introduce him by his name, and he this introduces is, me by my name. So y'all just y'all just kicking. I mean, to me, I'm sing- I'm single until I'm married. Yeah, right, so exactly. I, let, me, let, me, let me put it this way then. So, it's not the time that time. Line, they don't love If a dude walk up to you right now and ask to take you on a date, what you gonna say? No. If you're why? interested in the dude, why? Why you not gonna say no? Because I'm dealing with somebody. But you're single until you're married, and this guy hasn't married you, so if you're single, then you're still out But I'm looking. still exclusively dating him. So that yeah, makes sense. Like, so like, you're like, in a relationship, my G. <laughs> you're <laughs> see, 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 no, you trying to draw lines. You trying to draw new lines. Like, like y'all, y'all scared if to people live in, in the, the LBGTQ yeah. community can draw new lines. That's, why I can't sketch? Because that is the identity. Why? Why? Because why? that. Why? And I'm not gonna tell you exactly why. 
Because that is the identity of that one individual. And if I want to walk out today and say, hey, man, I want to be identified as the king of Zamunda. And I don't give a fuck. That's what, not what, it. I don't give a fuck what you say. That is who I am. That is who I've been for the last 30 years of my soul. At some point, that is that affects me and only me. If you decide to call me that, that is, that is your right and move on as an American. When you talk about relationships, you involve a whole nother individual. So question, SAT scores, I mean, SAT um, tests, mm -hmm. um, anytime you fill out a job application, they ask you if you're black, uh, white, they do. other, they do. Da, 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 da. they do. LBGT, I could be a female that doesn't identify as a female, correct? Yup. Yep. So why can't I be in a relationship that's undefined? Because now you're defining something for another person that has no that's say kind of, in this. Hold on, can I that's, say something? That's kind of dumb. I'm sorry. No. I'm just, how, how can you be in a relationship that's undefined? Like, that's what I'm saying. You're defining something. But I'm saying, why, why, why can that not be a, why can I not be an option? It's because an option on everything else. Because what? that's, because everything else, you are speaking only for yourself. In a relationship, a relationship That's requires true. another entity. I need so this entity, I at this me. point, <laughs> when you when you say, um, I just got a friend boy, while you can tell us he introduces you as this and you introduce him as that, has anyone ever been in a situation and met old man and, and, and been introduced as this and been yeah. like and looked in that man's face and like, yeah, he cool with that. Move on. Like, <laughs> no, because because regardless if if he's if 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 the situation has happened and he's living in it, being cool with it as a woman, and whether you can speak to this directly or not, you have friends that do. You're not necessarily gonna speak. You can live in some shit for years upon years. Like, man, I don't really, I don't 100% agree with this, but I really, really wanna be in this. So I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna wait, and hopefully, me and my wife were just having this conversation yesterday. The change. I'm going to change this motherfucker. People love believing they can change somebody into being something they're not. Ooh, wait. Yeah, I believe that. But let me uh, say something, too, real quick, since I'm about to go get something stronger. <laughs> the uh, job to drink for is still... Um, okay. It's still <laughs> out there, so if y'all want to reply, please, yeah. at KevLamar89, I'm taking interviews. <laughs> but, um... Because <laughs> we can't have no more this shit. You see that? It's empty. <laughs> right? Everybody got to get up and go pour their own shit. By the way, my man, you want to go, you know, do what you do. So, <laughs> that's a straight. Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, go ahead. Cause but you at what? Because I got to drop the dirt. Like, <laughs> I'm going to drop the <laughs> Right. That's not the question. I have to. I'm going See, to. See, the joys of being in juice. your own That's so Hold on. Don't be saying that. Don't be saying that. Another so title. That's Home so owner. No, but at what so. point is it, does it become, like you said, why is it not okay? Because there's a whole other entity you're involving. You can't speak, you can't speak for this man and say, we both cool with being a friend boy and a friend girl, not knowing if, if he going to be cool with you saying, I'm but single. He, okay, on but the streets. He, like when y'all have these conversations, like you two. Let me let me say you two, you and your friend boy. When y'all have these conversations, and it's like, yo, we gonna be like together. I keep saying friend boy because what's it? I don't know. No, nope. don't want to know nope. his name. Never mind. Nah, I know okay, his but, name, but we gonna keep sorry, it this <laughs> But my point is like when y'all have these conversations and y'all talk about like getting more serious of being because you're not y'all y'all are exclusive. And you to each other. You have gone to you know you don't have to of course you don't have to go to social media and do that stuff and all that. You don't. You know I'm in a relationship. Blah blah blah. Well, y'all have these conversations though. What do y'all say to each other? Has the what has the mean? L bomb been dropped? Has the I like you a lot bomb been dropped? Like what? what yeah, you we discussed all of that. Like at the end of the day, if I had to put a title on him, he is my best friend. I just happen to sleep with him. That's a friend with benefit. Yeah, no. like a mug. No, it's like a mug. It's you said not. best friend that you sleep with. That's a benefit. Wait, wait. That yeah, happens. Hold but, on. So none of y'all's wives is y'all's best friend? My wife is absolutely my best friend. Mine is my I best friend, with. but I'm not. But you notice how I started that sentence? 
My wife. My wife. Exactly. <laughs> so I, the guy no. that I'm dating can't be my best friend. As he can. Yeah. But he has to at some point be like. But by saying, you, you move he's around he's so smooth. The guy that I'm dating. Graduate. My friend boy. You Somebody I'm in a relationship saying with. Saying that he is your actual boyfriend means something to you. Like, and you, you, like. You don't, I feel like you don't that's want to say that. That's like, you don't want, like, yeah, this that's sounds like, you, like, yeah. like, you're afraid of that, like, that's where I'm dating him exclusively. Like, in your mind, that's enough. Let's, like, that's okay. not commitment. You let's haven't committed not, to this shit. Right. not, like, listen, like, maybe everybody don't deserve that opportunity to become Whoa. that boyfriend. Like, maybe, Whoa. maybe this wait. is a trial run for her. And she's wait. Like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this is not a trial run. Let me explain my mindset. My family is very close. There are certain situations and certain avenues that you have to get to before I go out and tell the world you're my boyfriend. One of them is meeting my family. In my past, only one other person has met my family that I claim. So at this point, due to this, due to where we're at, I've been around some members of his family. He has not been around my family. I can't, I don't feel comfortable giving anyone the, gl- the green light to proceed until I know that they blend well with my family, the people closest to me, so my you, circle. So you saying the title is based on, <clears throat> the official title is based on like how you feel about them as far as them like meeting your family? So like, Yes, if you meet my son and my son doesn't like you, you're no longer my nigga. Okay, oh, okay. Man. What if we just hate no? Like, <laughs> my son? No, look, look, look. No. Touch my mama. And I get where you about to go with this. But as as a man to a son that is that 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 carries a lot of his personality from day to day, when I say I know my man, sometimes be like, man, I don't I don't fuck with you just because I don't feel like fucking with you right now. You might be a cool dude, but eh. Don't touch my mama. Don't touch my mama. Don't touch my Doritos. My Doritos. Like, to be honest, sometimes kids do be haters. Sometimes. True. But so, my son is not know? like that. My son gives everybody a fair opportunity. My son is, my son will be 10 tomorrow. He has his own. Hey. He has his hey, own judge That's and character. So, <laughs> So my son will my son will sit me down and have a conversation like mommy I didn't like this this or this like he he gives everybody a fair shot he's a lot like me he gives you enough rope to hang yourself he's gonna sit back he's gonna observe or to lasso exactly I mean speaking of titles hold up quick like side note speaking of titles we're all millennials and uh, millennials get a, a a bad rap when one thing I will say about millennials, when it comes to us being parents, we are raising a generation of kids that has freedom to express their feelings. Yep. And that shit is, like most people think that, it's, it's very dangerous, oh, but yeah. it is going to build a generation of fucking, it's gonna build an empire. Like, like the ability for people to really say what they feel and how they feel, like we all can say this as kids, I ain't had that fucking freedom. No. Like, like to express how I feel about individuals, especially adults. Ooh. That shit is real. Okay. Like, and to give our yeah. kids that freedom and be those type of parents, shout out to us. Yeah. But yeah. go ahead. Yeah. And we're all parents, by the way. Everybody yeah. on this panel today has kids. Proud parents. <laughs> yes, we are. Proud parents. But um what? my son knows how to have that conversation with me and I know how to have that conversation with him where I'm like, yo, if you really don't like something, I never want to put you in a situation where you're uncomfortable. So if my son gives you a fair chance and you're like, yo, nah, I don't fuck with kids, I don't fuck with you having kids, anything leading up to the point of you having like meeting my son is gonna be a dub if you fuck it up before you meet him. It's gonna be a so. dub after because I my son is so sweet. My son gives like he will he will try to build a relationship <laughs> like as soon as he meets you, not like a father son relationship, but he will try to have a conversation with you. As a person. Exactly. As a person. This person should. So if you if you can fuck that up with a ten year old, like at this point it's like you have no space. 
in my life. If you can't get past my son, you definitely not gonna be able to make it around my mama. So, okay, so we're titles. So back to the whole thing. We're out of time. So we're not really running out of time. We set the well, time. I mean, we set the time. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. My point is, we go, we go into it like so. Titles we based it on what's happening in the dating phase. We talked about what's happening, like as far as like the comf- help me out, y'all. I don't know what you're trying to say. Comfortability. That sounds about right. Yep. All right, That's I don't really want to be control. like mentioning hieroglyphics. I would just say comfort pain. Really? But when I do full circles, I get yelled. At. You know what? I quit this whole podcast. <laughs> you don't quit. You the boss I of me. I quit. You started it. I My quit. point is though, we we talk about titles based on like comfortability and like how. The dating phase is going. What else are we basing it off of? That's all we can base it off of. This is the like beginning. looks. Because if you're a mud duck, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, you ain't gonna my play phone, I'm gonna title you a mud duck. <laughs> <laughs> but some would say if you think she's a mud duck, why, why would you stick? Exactly. Why would you stick? Because she has a vagina. I'm gonna no. tell y'all. Because why. she has a vagina. No. See, and that's how y'all think. A credit y'all. <laughs> Y'all <laughs> literally think we go A B C because as 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 men we gotta be that simple. All of us have gotta be that fucking <laughs> stupid. Even though there was a whole generation of us raised by just our mamas, damn, there's no way that we picked up some things. Like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't pick up shit. We're just still A B C. I don't know shit. But I'm not being funny. There's a hole. Let me put my dick in it. Yeah. Like, no. The chick, not, the chick that I was dealing with could pretty much have taken care of me for the rest of my life. I just didn't put a title on it because... Because you would That wasn't it. The it question it. is... It wasn't there. Why deal with a mud duck as TJ Because at some point... Calls it. Because at some point, everything ain't physical. Everything, Ooh, everything, everything ain't so the physical the trait. Like there is, there is, is at least half of the female population. And yeah, I said half. I went back goddamn deep. And in that, you are not, you're not the, the, I'm going to be generous and say the nine that you think you are. And I'm only <laughs> saying the nine that you think you are because some of y'all really think like I'm about to knock your ass back down. Like, like you're not even average, and and but as when it comes to the physical of what you look like, you add the person into that, you know, like normal human beings do, because there are a lot of women out here. I'll say the same thing. It's more than half of these niggas out here. Like I said in the beginning, ain't got the sauce, but somehow they still getting done what needs to get done for them. <laughs> but, but. At, as 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 that half population of women that doesn't that isn't that nine that she thinks she is you're still a person so that adds a lot into it again we're not a b equals c I can literally look at you and say man that five that person has a good three point five like and somehow you did just become that much attractive yeah your physical appearance says you're a fucking mud duck it is what it is. Like, you are not the most physically attractive person. But the person themselves, yes, you are. And, yeah, you happen to have a vagina, and eventually that attraction came out, and I... It happened. It happened. You know, we got to rapping, and that's how it happened. But her name uh, is going to be saved in your phone as mud, though. Yeah, because at some point... Yeah, until, the, until, the, you the, until you get a title? Until you get a title. Now, some... Yeah, it's very... It, 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 is it mean... I didn't go into it with the ill intent for her to find out that her name was Mud Duck. And I go to my friends like, hey man, look at this Mud Duck ass thing. Like, no. I always believe that mean requires ill intent. If there is no ill intent uh, uh, behind the original decision, then no, I wasn't being mean. No, I might not have been as PC or kosher as you would like me to be, but I wasn't going into this to hurt their feelings. This is just my expression of who this person is. Absolutely. Move on, get over it. So do we base titles on who, mm-hmm. what we that say? Soda? This is my soda. That's why it's in front of me. No, I said, is that just This? Soda? Yes, this is just soda. Can I have some? Just a little? Why? She, she needs a little. Thank you. I'm parched. 
Shiva now. Water is. You sound so like Tommy God. in that episode of so Martin. God. It was like they remember when they was playing right. ball against the WNBA. So it was like, hey man, wait. I'm thirsty. I gotta go wait. home. I need some soda. Kev, uh, you just, just Kev, you just uh, brought us. Are we basing titles off of what we signed them in the, on the phone? No, we base titles off a lot of things, but. You start off that initial title, whether it be like whether it be consciously or subconsciously. If you don't save somebody's number in your phone after about fucking an entire text message thread, no shit can happen in two hours. If at some point you don't feel like that person is important enough to put in your phone, then that initial that they say first impressions are everything. That first impression said something to your spirit that said they are temporary. And even if after that, you're just like, man, I need to put this person over in my phone because it's been here forever. We all have those people. It's How many of those people are still in your regular inbox? How many of those people do you regularly still talk to? First impressions are everything. Those initial titles do mean a lot. Like, and, and, and I guess my point in all this is at some point, we enter it full circle. Since Courtney always gets bullshit from full circle, I'm coming full circle. Wait. <laughs> when I said the shit about it's complicated, God. and y'all said that that that's usually on the declining the relationship. Mm -hmm. For me, the beginning of the relationship is the most complicated part because that's when we put out the most bullshit. We are literally from the point of of introduction, it was a manipulation. When you go out on that night trying to find some girls or trying to trying to hook up or whatever. That's not the person you are every day. You don't look like that every day. You don't think like that every day. You don't even feel like that every day. Uh, but when, like, 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 but when you meet whoever you met that night and y'all got introduced, you was on, you was on that number nine. You was feeling like I that nine. Will not deny that when I was in the Air Force, I yeah. didn't tell people that I fly planes. See, like, like at some point you were building yourself up just to draw them in Sorry. a little bit closer. A little bit, and then at some point, yeah, I'm gonna drop the bomb, whether it be directly or indirectly, of who I am, and we do that all the time. It's like a good for some people, the honeymoon phase could be a fucking year. For some, it's like two days. But whatever it may be, that honeymoon phase is what gets people sucked into the relationship, and that's the complicated time because after that, we walking around like, damn man, I ain't gonna do that shit. A while ago, and who the fuck is this? Hey, <laughs> and now you don't want to give him that title. That's true. That's true. But funny story, back to what he said. Damn, um, like during that honeymoon phase, like when I was with my wife, I tried to woo her with words because I was like, oh yeah, she got like two two degrees and shit. See, <laughs> I need to be smart. You know what I'm saying? So like, she called me when I was. She was like, stop trying these big words. You sound stupid. I was like, I was like what? I'm like, trying what to mean. Why, like, we we was out here trying to earn a title. And again, <laughs> full fucking circle. You can do that. Like I don't, I really, I don't believe. That so you're saying the title is earned? I don't. That's what I'm saying. He was trying to earn a title. You can't I was earn. To be a philosophy. You, and he was, he was out here applying for the job. Walked in there like, all right, man. They, they got this hole, this hole, this hole, and this is what their their culture says, so I'm going to be this guy. Not knowing they hired you because you fucking TJ, and they just wanted right. TJ. <laughs> that was it. They just I'm trying wanted to TJ. An enamorous... And that's it. In the beginning of relationships, we fall into that trap all the time. At some point, I saw you from a distance. This ain't my first day. Like, I didn't just... I'm not fucking 15, seeing the girl in my math class, like, oh man, she writes so cute. No, like I've seen you before and I've wanted to talk to you. I've had no clue on how to do this. Mm -hmm. I've done at, at the very least, I've looked at the back of the book. Like I might not have read everything, but I've looked at the back of the book and I walked into this like, all right, I'm going to try and get that person that I've seen from a distance because you didn't know I was watching you. So you can't manipulate me in any way. But even when we each walk into this situation, because no woman has said yes to a man out of the, like, I'm not going to say no, but it's very rare that a woman has said yes to a man. Yeah, we got that first date, but that wasn't a yes, nigga. That was a maybe. Like, that was, that was a, I needed to eat tonight. That was a, I needed to eat tonight, and I didn't have shit else to do. Or I was very bored, or my plan ain't canceled. Like, it's not always you got the sauce, and she saw it immediately, and now you got a chance. Yes, we moving on. It's a maybe. So we walk into this situation, and we manipulate each other, 
and now we in the it's complicated phase because I don't know you, you don't know me, but you want to be my girlfriend, I want to be your boyfriend, but when we actually, when we gonna get here, because we've been committed and we've been dating, we've been exclusively dating all these months, even though I've been trying, there has been a real, there's been title behavior without actual titles, we've been exclusively dating, now it's time for us to be us, and I'm looking like, that won't the person I was just exclusively dating. Why? Because now there's a title, and titles add complication. They add real life. They add commitment. And when commitment is thrown into the, to the loop, you start to feel like it's not just, I'm not just saying I'm African American, I'm saying I'm black. Like it's not, I'm not, I'm not just committing to 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 to, to the, the, the the title, I'm committing to the behavior. And when does that when does that become real? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another rant by just Kevin. Kev. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, we've, been talk, about, we've been talking for 50 minutes they And I have not talked that much They're going to talk about you they still going to talk about you mm-hmm. And that's alright And that's alright because hell we give giving generous numbers Miss, Shit, he's miss up. friend boy with that Oh child <laughs> I can't help so rude. <laughs> What? <laughs> is he? I can't help is it he? She said it she If you say what you it. got Then I can't She said it She got a friend boy like, and this is what they won't say. <laughs> and I, it's just like, I keep hearing friend boy, and I'm like, are you cool with him? Like, I got a friend girl. Now, he's going to say this is, uh... Yo, what if he says that? Now, is he, he cool? Ain't gonna say like, that. what if... Like, you, you know, say, like, I don't care, but not genuinely, not even, what like, you feel public, that way? What if I don't public, and he'd be like, yo, this is my friend girl. No, what if... I mean, like, he's like, he's like, 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 you bought a whole, but that's the thing, you bought a whole new concept, so it's kind of funny to me. You bought a whole new title to What if he walked up to somebody and was like, yo, this is my friend girl. Are you trying to draw my eyes? You trying to draw my eyes? No, 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 no. So it's kind of like you, when you said you told Shorty you wasn't looking for nothing, and she was like, all right, well, I'm fucking with other people. You can't. Be mad at something she that you say, hold started. On, hold on, she didn't say she, she was fucking another nigga, and you just oh, say God. that shit. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, God. So let's not get crazy. <laughs> she wasn't messing with nobody else at the time. I know. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I really don't. I'm about to say, how you know? Nah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just I really didn't care it's, because it's kind of like that situation. Like, <laughs> so if he, so in, if he right now talking to his boys and like, yeah, you know, fucking with old girl, you know, she cool, we been fucking around. Like, hey, cool, bro, she ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like, oh man, and somebody like, hey man, that's your girl. And he like, nah, man, we just fucking around. Ooh. So you just hit. Yeah, I just saw it in your face. You not okay with that, no, me? No, no. That's not, that's not, look at, look at this fucking. All right, let's, let's that just sounds like the all. investment. That sounds like the investment is not worth it. Like, exactly. so, so let me, let me, let, let's go from here. Ooh, the friend boy shit. So when you met your current wife, mm-hmm. and, and that was, a, like, when I say, I yo, your that eyes. shit's I a situation, your eyes just now, that's so I've funny. known this woman since she was 18, and I am 19, I am now 30, and she will be it next year. So when y'all first started, mm-hmm. what was it? Like what was it? Like, when we I first, think? when we first met, <laughs> when Kristen and I first, yep, yep, I said my wife's name. When Kristen and I like first met, I had, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> but uh, when we first met, it was um, there was no title. It was all of our friends around us trying to apply the title and legit, like we had. We had hung out in group settings up until that point for probably three or four months, mm-hmm. and the individuals didn't connect like openly mm-hmm. until like two months into it. Okay. Like we were like, like I knew she was interested. Like okay. I kind of had that inkling, okay. and 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 I'm sure she did the same. But it was never anything defined. We were legit. Like, I'm living in my life, you living in your life. These come together periodically, but we are not. Like, and then when I say they come together periodically, I don't mean like we sleep together or anything like that. Like, we just spending time around one another. But when it came to us dating, it was legit. Like, 
I remember I was in one of my friend's dorm rooms. We came, I was like, hey, I need to talk to you earlier that day. She came and found me. I pulled her outside the room and said, do you want to be my girlfriend? And from that point on, we understood. Even in the situation where we broke up and, and, and yeah, we broke up, we were exes, we still fucking. And, <laughs> and even in those, in those time periods. She looks so mortified right wait, now. Wait, like, wait, no wait. Wait. We were not supposed to reveal that. And no, even in those that. time periods. No man, I am as real as it's gonna happen. You ask me a question, that. I'm a fucking no. answer. Chris the question. Is mortified. That's okay. as real as All right. She know who the fuck she married. She was like, okay, so TJ, when you and your wife yeah. first got together, what was the title? What was the title? Like, oh, no. son. For the longest, <laughs> like she would not <laughs> save my name in her phone. Oh, that's where you got I, me. I, I, <laughs> so she had this bogus ass superstition. That if she saved my number, I was gonna leave. I have not. <laughs> yo, I don't think I got a name until like, like two months ago. Like maybe two. Wait, months what? Ago. You like, been so married I, for I, years. I've been nine one nine seven nine. I've been that number. <laughs> I've been that number for a long time. Oh. And where she told me this, I was like, when you so get I'm your number saved. Are you even both? When you get your number saved? It, it was it's recent. It was How long have you been married? I've been married like three some odd years. And it's recent. <laughs> that's because that's because Y'all hear because the energy in this man's voice? <laughs> 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 Titles are important. It hurts. It's, that shit it hurts. I was bothered. I was bothered. I was bothered. Whether it be in the <laughs> cell phone or exclusively okay, in the world. I was bothered to say that. So you important. at where was you at? Alright, so. Go we were no, no, no. I'm not gonna tell no lies. Well, it's like exclusive to the penis. Body. My uh, <laughs> my wife was like, "Yo, we ain't uh, we just talking right now until you ask me to be, you know, you ask me like she she old school, oh, she old school, like, she, old school. Yes. she don't play them games like yo. Why she ain't hand you a note and say like, nah, like, nah, I wasn't gonna do like me yesterday, but I, I, you know, it's kind of like that. So I had to take her. I took her to VP Doe on March 17, 2016. BB uh, Duck. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, I don't know what the fuck yeah, that is. Either. Okay, let me tell you something. Let's Mission Valley is a uh, cow's on the spot called DP Dope. So he's not giving no more free promo, nigga. Oh, like, what? He he right can't teach out all, all the free promo <laughs> tonight. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Y'all all looking at me. This is all about freedom. It's 86 that shit. My bad. <laughs> my bad. But this is about freedom, dude. But no, seriously, I took it to BP Dope and was like, yo, we we sat there, we ordered our cow's owns, and I looked at her and I said, yo, will you be my girlfriend? I like that my man know what they ate too. Oh, what? Yes. <laughs> I know. I know. We well, you knew March you had look, sent look, a message earlier that day. day. Oh, I know the whole day. I know what I was wearing. St. Patrick's Day 2016. She had on a little black vest with a pink shirt. Like, I remember the fucking yes. day. Like, That's how it goes, you know? I, but I asked her, would she be my girlfriend? Oh, she said, so, yeah. so we were officially boyfriend and girlfriend until I proposed. And then we were officially. You know, I fianced. Ah, mm. Using them TJ words when you're trying to get this. Is that a word? Just to clarify. I was about to ask just to Lexi. clarify. Just to clarify. Just to clarify. Real quick. <laughs> so, Courtney does full circle. Everybody makes fun. Courtney makes up words. Everybody tells me I can't. Whoa! Make words. Whoa! Malik comes out here with no time out. Time and says, out. fiance. Oh, oh, it's just it's Alexa. 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 Nope, it's unplugged. Uh, Daddy, <laughs> nah, bump that. Siri, who got Siri? Who was Siri? Siri? No, Brandon. And I definitely I just asked, is. is fiance the word? No, I didn't just say, does this motherfucker just say fiance? Right. Like, like fiance. you caught me in a moment. Yeah. I'm sorry that I called you an unstable creature, but <laughs> you said hieroglyphics. Excuse me. Ahem. I fiance. Engaged to be married. Can you, Beyond can this you word for the yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, let me let me uh, put it to it. Affianced. My bad. It's affianced. <laughs> I said it wrong. Get this nigga. <laughs> affianced. 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 Let's I'm over here defending. <laughs> no, I said it wrong. And My you bad. done made up a whole fucking It's a word. word. It's a word. No. The definition exists. That word does not 
<laughs> All right, you happy now? Yeah. Oh, I just oh, feel yeah, like this is a real boy. Right, he got it. It's like, <laughs> you happy are, now? are you good now? Okay. Either way, she happy. His yeah. title has been assessed. Yeah. He is the doofus of said. I was a fine moment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He was I a fine. That's a word. That's dumb. Anyway, Afiyah, stop. You didn't even believe it was a word. That's no, no, a I can't, no, not that it wasn't a word, but a That doesn't even sound right. That's great. That sound like that sound like. People it, been saying I'm being that deviance. Um, that chapter, those, those episodes, deviance and then insurgents, and then you got Rayo you stupid, like you Rayo stupid. Like <laughs> Call her right now so she can give you that no using smile. <laughs> you stupid. Call her right now. Okay. All right. Shout out to TJ though because he ah. came through with a fresh haircut just to be on the podcast. Y'all see these lines? Y'all on it. They got the sauce. They got. I'm, oh. <laughs> Four titles, just so they all know. I'm four titles, and that shit matters. Um, See, and, and that's what I was. I was going. Shit, I you just, you just became contacting the phone. Regardless, mm. regardless whether y'all believe it or not, to the male population, obviously a title matters. Obviously, a title matters. Like I don't even think it's just to you, to you, to me, to him. In the last episode, UA was talking about. If he was the if he was to throw his uh his uh Air Force title on top right. of his name, it means something. Right. Titles, the, the 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 whole point of all this, titles mean something. Y'all right. feel like you need to be called something when dealing with another individual, man, express that shit. You feel as though an individual is expressing you in a light in which you are not ready to live in or you do not live in, express that shit. Yeah. Use your words. We're all adults. Mm. With that being said, I think we gonna uh, man. This was probably this was our we longest episode playing. today. We, nah, a few months still got us for like ten Doesn't minutes. It? Really? Yeah, oh, but yeah. it's cool. But that was freestyling. Yeah, that was just just bullshit. And this is we here this now. Is conversation. Ha, we outside. Right? Like my nigga right? catching over two times. We outside. TJ, you gonna come kick it with us again? I would love to. Did you have fun? fun? I did. That's I awesome. Did. I'm so, glad. He, this is definitely a conversation. He seriously thought we was playing about this too. We've been on, hold up. First of all, TJ has been on my list of interviewers since we started planning. Since like before idea. we had, before we even shot episode one, I was like, Malik, can you get TJ to come through? I yeah. want him to be my first yeah, guest. Man, first guest man. <laughs> and, and, and for y'all that know me, he got his brother. I'm going to get my sister in this uh, <laughs> We got some guests lined up. They oh, that's going to be a whole vibe. Oh. Shoot. We, we, yeah. So, y'all y'all going to be. Just to put the, put the nail in this episode, if you are a local artist, if you are a business owner, if you do poetry, if you want to get your name out in the world, though we're not the biggest podcast, we will definitely oh, shout you be. out for free. Free publicity. That's another title. The biggest podcast. Right now. Yep. That's when we right. make it, prices and fees will go accordingly. But right now, and you know catch that. this free wave, bro. TJ, I'm glad you made it out with us. I look I forward to future it. episodes with you, and I'm glad you made it. Absolutely. Let me find out if you buy me a regular <laughs> on the show. If you show. guys have any questions, you know, of course, by now that our IG is what they won't say underscore podcast. Or you can hit us up at www.whatthewontsay.com. Please leave your any questions, anything we might have left out in the comments below. Questions, comments, Shout concerns. Out. The Previous shit you want to say, you like, yo, man, I like that shirt you got on. When you get it? I'm not going to tell you, but, you know, you can still say it. Good a previous <laughs> comment we had is shooting an episode with live feed. We will work on that in the future and get back to you just so we'll be able to answer questions. None of us really have the eyesight or the focus right now with us drinking to be able to see the iPad that far water, to water. listen. <laughs> Or look at your comments, but we will definitely come through later. What's up? All right, y'all. This is what they won't say. Episode three.